So as you can see by um, this dialogue, <laughs> we're having some kind of like Wi-Fi issues. So when it doesn't work at the end because there's no internet, I just want you to pretend it works because I promise you it does. Um, OK, let's talk about Hoodie. Anybody heard of Hoodie? Wow, that's amazing. Um, cool. Well, OK, this isn't really Hoodie. This is an app. Uh, you can draw stuff. Um, you might call that the scroll of a madman. I call it a drawing. Um, the only problem is like, I can refresh the page. It kind of disappears. So let's imagine for a minute that I don't know anything about Node.js. Might be easier for some of you than others. Uh, let's just give up on that. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I've created this lovely drawing app. I can do some front end stuff. There's like some session stuff. There's download over here. There's clear button. Um, but I don't really know how to hook those things up. So what I really want to do is have persistence and stuff like that just using front end code. So we're going to do that using Hoodie. So the first thing to do is I want to hook up the sign up form. So I'm, I don't want to write selectors so I have them pre-done. Um, but it'd be great if you know, just using front end code, I could do all this kind of stuff without setting up a server and a database and stuff. OK, so that looks pretty sensible. If account sign up was that easy, that would be awesome. So let's just imagine that works. Go away. Uh, so success. Great. So just think about how long you spend setting up all accounts and things normally. I just wrote like one line of JavaScript in the front end, and it was that easy. <laughs> uh, so the next thing, it would be cool if after I've drawn something, it would actually you know, persist when I refresh the page. Uh, for that, of course, we need a database. So let's do that. So we have this function that um, it gets fired every time I finish drawing a path. OK, I just saved a path in a database on the server. Uh, when I load the page, it would be great if I could ask the database for all the existing paths so that we could draw them. I always forget promises here. I wonder why that is. So draw path is just the function we're using to draw paths. Pretty obvious. Great, so we've added two little tiny bits of code. And now we can store paths in the database. And when we reload the page, they should persist. So let's try it out. Now we reload. Success. OK, so that's pretty cool. Um, like, I've got my drawings saved. But if I open this on another device, like my phone or tablet, and start drawing stuff, it's going to get out of sync. So you know, I won't see what I've just drawn on my tablet or my phone on my laptop while I have it open. So it'd be great if there was a way that we could keep these things in sync. Well, there is. Um, so as well as having a database, we also have events for whenever we make changes to the database. So we can do stuff like this. So now, whenever we add a path anywhere, this will get fired. So we want to check and make sure that it was added by someone other than the current user. Otherwise, we're going to be drawing some things twice. OK, that looks pretty good. Let's give it a go. So you can see the drawings appeared on both. Now, hopefully, when I draw stuff, pretty much real-time-ish e drawing. So that's awesome. Uh, it'd be cool if we had like a clear button hooked up so 
Um, I could kind of start a fresh drawing because I made a bit of a mess here. So let's do that. Um, so that just gets all the paths from the store and deletes them. We can do this because every user has their own store, so I, I can't delete someone else's paths. And then uh, once we get the response back, um, we just have another event for when things are removed. That could probably be one line, but there you go. You get the idea. So when the path is removed, we just want to clear it from the page. So if I refresh, I click clear, they both clear. Now we get to the fun stuff. Uh, so down here, we have a download button. It would be great if, after I've drawn a face, I could download it. Uh, so that doesn't really work. Let's do that. So um, this function is just like an export to PNG thing. It's not part of Hoodie. It's just something built into the drawing app. Then we want to download it. Let's give that a go. Looking pretty good. There we go. Even more scary. Great. So now we've got a way to export the drawing. Um, it would be nice if I could share it with people. So uh, we have the share button. Now, here's the really fun bit. Uh, so we can send like plain text or um, HTML. And this is where it starts to get really crazy. We can even do attachments. So I can just call that get drawing method. And we have an email with attachments and everything. So this is the big wow part of the demo. Um, but due to a slight problem with connectivity, let's just give it one more try. Ah, Linux. <coughs> oh, now I have two. You know, it's Tom when he comes up. OK. Well, you click this, you type in your email address. Click OK, and I promise you, later on, an email will arrive with this hideous face in it. If you want proof, come find me. It'll be on my phone. Um, <laughs> or you'll watch the LXJS talk, where it worked. Uh, and if you kind of like the idea of being able to do all this crazy stuff in the front end and making web development more accessible and faster, then you should talk to a hoodie. So if you want to hug a hoodie, there's Sven over there. Raise your hand, Sven. Um, and myself will be at the party afterwards, and we have really cool hoodie stickers, so come find us. Yay. Thanks. Woo.